Okay, so next section we're going to talk about in module four is a plan. So this is what we were talking about in the last Q&A. So I would then have a conversation. Remember, all this is supposed to be a conversation. So I'll ask them an open-ended question that, look, if someone wants to be successful in different areas of their life, whether they want a physical transformation, they want to be healthier, they want to you know, lose weight or gain muscle or gain energy, gain fitness, uh, or be better at a sport, uh, or you know, so on and so forth, or they want to change their career, they want to change a business, start a business, what are some of the things that they can do to speed up their success? Because anybody can have a goal, right? But it's the system and processes that you put in that make you successful. What would someone do? And similarly, like, for example, you know, the spirituality, one angle I tell them is, look, it's not a static thing. Just like you need to charge your phone, you need to keep charging your faith. Otherwise, it can drop down to may Allah protect us to even zero. And then when you talk to them, they will, you know, come back with some options. Oops. Okay, so the... the yeah, I thought there was a slide for that. Apparently not. Okay, so I think it will come in later. So the idea of people would say that, you know what, uh, to find the right approach. You know, so if you want to train physically, you need to have the knowledge. Otherwise, you could be putting in effort, but you're causing more harm to your body. You're doing negative impact on your body, right? Uh, you need to have someone that can look at your specific situation, help you see your blind spots, and so on and so forth. You need to set some goals. You need to, you know, uh, start small, but be consistent about it. Uh, you need to surround yourself with people who are also motivated. Because if you are surrounded with, your, with people who are, you know, who are not eating healthy, for example, you are also likely going to be not eating healthy. If you're surrounded with people who are not active, you're probably going to be inactive as well. So companionship, environment, knowledge, mentor, coaches, these are some of the things that people would uh, come up with by themselves. So our program is like that as well. Okay. Okay. So our program is like that as well. Uh, so the four components of a spiritual success or convert coaching is as follows. So first one is motivation. So we explain it to them. Look, we will work on this thing. We want you to be motivated. We want you to feel that this is an important thing in your life. Okay, the way this happened is a, you know, surround yourself with other Muslims. If you are, you wake up and you go to sleep, everyone around you is either a non-Muslim or is someone who doesn't care about the rule of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They do whatever they feel like doing. Doesn't mean that they are bad people from a worldly sense. They may be kind and caring, but all of this is determined by what they want to do. So that's going to be a different thing. So, you know, make sure you have some good people around you that you might see once a day, you know, you might keep in touch or phone or WhatsApp, or you might see once a week and so on and so forth. You know, make yourself easier. If you're surrounded with people who have the same goal, it's going to be easier for you. The second thing, which should actually be the first thing, is the concept of asking Allah. You can talk to Allah, which we call supplications or dua or prayers anytime. You can be lying down and talking to Allah. You can be walking and talking to Allah. You can be driving and talking to Allah. And you can ask Allah that, oh, Allah, I need this. I'm, I, I don't have the courage. Give me the courage. I feel lazy. You know, give me the strength to worship you. Give me the strength to learn. Make it easy for me. Give me, you can ask Allah for motivation. You can ask Allah for, to help you avoid the sins and so on and so forth. And it's not an exchange. It's not that you have to do something for Allah, then you can ask. No, asking Allah itself is a dua. It's, sorry, it's, itself is a worship. Right, because that shows you trust Allah. That shows that you know that Allah can listen to you. That helps you build a better relationship with Allah. So always ask Allah. You know, surround yourself with motivational content, because most of the time, by default, people will not talk to you about God. People will not talk to you about afterlife. So surround yourself, and we'll share some resources around that. And go to events, you know, conferences, classes, volunteer opportunities, so on and so forth. The second element is where we get into the technicalities. How do I, you know, worship? How do I pray? Like, you know, the formal prayers, right? The five daily prayers, how, how many times do I have to bend and stand up? And what do I say? What's the cleansing that Muslim do? These are the technical details that are taught to us that are preserved. So it's not that everybody does whatever they feel like. It's actually preserved all the way to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And then you want to set some goals. 
It could be one prayer a day. I'm not, I can't change the religion. You have to pray five times a day, but we understand that zero, one is better than zero and two is better than one and three is better than two. So, you know, if you want to start one a day with the intent of getting to five, that's something you can do. I cannot, I'm not going to change it to you. And then, so we want to have a goal that, okay, you know, maybe one prayer a day, one class a week or one meeting a week, whatever it is, let's, let's have something like that. And you can have other goals like, you know, on their job development, physical development, whatnot. And then the four is you want to look at the goals, what happened, you know, how you can avoid some blockers. Sometimes people need reminders. And there's, a, you know, there's an app called Habit Share app. We use it with a lot of converse. Not everybody will use it. Some people may just use WhatsApp. Some may use nothing, you know. So some people would like a daily check-in. Some people would like a weekly check-in. And some people just like, you know, are so turned off that we just do a monthly check-in until they get to a place where they want to do more. Uh, this is a great book, even for our own selves. Uh, you know, to you can give it to them so they can learn or you can learn and you can teach some of the principles. It really helps you understand some great principles and techniques to build habits. And I've, you know, included the video summary uh, and the full audio book and whatnot. So you have a lot of resources here. Okay, so yes, this is a slide I wanted to show you, right? So we focus on the why, then the how. Right, you you don't want to jump into the how. That's what we asked the first in the first module. That someone takes a shahada that is like, okay, I'm going to show him how to clean themselves and pray. If the person is not motivated, they won't. So the why is going to be very important. Don't think that they have the la ilaha illallah means that they have full motivation. You need to keep increasing that motivation, then the how, and then the two components of setting goals and reviewing those goals. Okay, so we'll go into the sharing the resources part uh, in next week, inshallah. Uh, so with that, I will stop here. But, you know, if you have any questions, let's talk about that, inshallah.